Ethylenediamine tetrachic acid, Wikipedia article audio. Ethylenediamine tetrachic acid, also known by several other names, is a chemical used for both industrial and medical purposes. It was synthesized for the first time in 1935 by Ferdinand Muntz. It is an amino polycarboxylic acid and a colorless, water soluble solid. Its conjugate base is ethylenediamine tetrachate. It is widely used to dissolve lime scale. Its usefulness arises because of its role as a hexadentate ligand and chelating agent, i.e., its ability to sequester metal ions such as Ca2 and Fe3. After being bound by EDDA into a metal complex, metal ions remain in solution but exhibit diminished reactivity. EDDA is produced as several salts, notably disodium EDDA and calcium disodium EDDA. Uses Industry In industry, EDDA is mainly used to sequester metal ions in aqueous solution. In the textile industry, it prevents metal ion impurities from modifying colors of dyed products. In the pulp and paper industry, EDDA inhibits the ability of metal ions, especially Mn2+, from catalyzing the disproportionation of hydrogen peroxide, which is used in chlorine-free bleaching. In a similar manner, EDDA is added to some food as a preservative or stabilizer to prevent catalytic oxidative decoloration, which is catalyzed by metal ions. In soft drinks containing ascorbic acid and sodium benzoate, EDDA mitigates formation of benzene. The reduction of water hardness in laundry applications and the dissolution of scale in boilers both rely on EDDA and related complex ants to bind Ca2+, Mg2+, as well as other metal ions. Once bound to EDDA, these metal centers tend not to form precipitates or to interfere with the action of the soaps and detergents. For similar reasons, Cleaning solutions often contain EDDA. In a similar manner EDDA is used in the cement industry for the determination of free lime and free magnesia in cement and clinkers. The solubilization of ferric ions, at or below near neutral pH can be accomplished using EDDA. This property is useful in agriculture including hydroponics. However, Given the pH dependence of ligand formation, EDDA is not helpful for improving Fe solubility in above neutral soils. Otherwise, at near neutral pH and above, iron forms insoluble salts, which are less bioavailable to susceptible plant species. Aqueous is used for removing hydrogen sulfide from gas streams. This conversion is achieved by oxidizing the hydrogen sulfide to elemental sulfur, which is non-volatile. In this application, the ferric center is reduced to its ferrous derivative, which can then be reoxidized by air. In similar manner, nitrogen oxides are removed from gas streams using two. The oxidizing properties of are also exploited in photography where it is used to solubilize silver particles. EDDA was used in separation of the lanthanide metals by ion exchange chromatography. Perfected by F.H. Spedding ETAL in 1954, the method relies on the steady increase in stability constant of the lanthanide EDDA complexes with atomic number. Using sulfonated polystyrene beads and copper as a retaining ion, EDDA causes the lanthanides to migrate down the column of resin while separating into bands of pure lanthanide. The lanthanides elute in order of decreasing atomic number. Due to the expense of this method, relative to counter-current solvent extraction, ion exchange is now used only to obtain the highest purities of lanthanide.
medicine. A specific salt of EDDA, known as sodium calcium editate, is used to bind metal ions in the practice of chelation therapy, e.g., for treating mercury and lead poisoning. It is used in a similar manner to remove excess iron from the body. This therapy is used to treat the complication of repeated blood transfusions, as would be applied to treat thalassemia. Dentists and endodontists use EDDA solutions to remove inorganic debris and lubricate the canals in endodontics. This procedure helps prepare root canals for obturation. Furthermore, EDDA solutions with the addition of a surfactant loosen up calcifications inside a root canal and allow instrumentation and facilitate apical advancement of a file in a tight-slash-calcified root canal towards the apex. Alternative Medicine It serves as a preservative in ocular preparations and eye drops. In evaluating kidney function, the complex is administered intravenously and its filtration into the urine is monitored. This method is useful for evaluating glomerular filtration rate. EDDA is used extensively in the analysis of blood. It is an anticoagulant for blood samples for CBC slash FBEs. Cosmetics EDDA is a slime dispersant, and has been found to be highly effective in reducing bacterial growth during implantation of intraocular lenses. Laboratory Applications Some alternative practitioners believe EDDA acts as an antioxidant, preventing free radicals from injuring blood vessel walls, therefore reducing atherosclerosis. These ideas are unsupported by scientific studies, and seem to contradict some currently accepted principles. The US FDA has not approved it for the treatment of atherosclerosis. Side Effects In shampoos, cleaners, and other personal care products, EDDA salts are used as a sequestering agent to improve their stability in air. In the laboratory, EDDA is widely used for scavenging metal ions, in biochemistry and molecular biology, ion depletion is commonly used to deactivate metal-dependent enzymes, either as an assay for their reactivity or to suppress damage to DNA, proteins, and polysaccharides. In analytical chemistry, EDDA is used in complexometric titrations and analysis of water hardness or as a masking agent to sequester metal ions that would interfere with the analyses. EDDA finds many specialized uses in the biomedical laboratories, such as in veterinary ophthalmology as an anticollagenase to prevent the worsening of corneal ulcers in animals. In tissue culture EDDA is used as a chelating agent that binds to calcium and prevents joining of cadherins between cells, preventing clumping of cells grown in liquid suspension, or detaching adherent cells for passaging. In histopathology, EDDA can be used as a decalcifying agent making it possible to cut sections using a microtome once the tissue sample is demineralized. EDDA is also known to inhibit a range of metallopeptidases, the method of inhibition occurs via the chelation of the metal ion required for catalytic activity. EDDA can also be used to test for bioavailability of heavy metals in sediments. However, EDDA may influence the bioavailability of metals in solution, which may pose concerns regarding its effects in the environment especially given its widespread uses and applications. Synthesis EDDA exhibits low acute toxicity with LD50 of 2.0 g-kg to 2.2 g-kg. It has been found to be both cytotoxic and weakly genotoxic in laboratory animals. Oral exposures have been noted to cause reproductive and developmental effects.
The same study by Lanigan also found that both dermal exposure to EDDA in most cosmetic formulations and inhalation exposure to EDDA in aerosolized cosmetic formulations would produce exposure levels below those seen to be toxic in oral dosing studies. The compound was first described in 1935 by Ferdinand Muntz, who prepared the compound from ethylene diamine and chloroacetic acid. Today, EDDA is mainly synthesized from ethylene diamine, formaldehyde, and sodium cyanide. This route yields the sodium salt, which can be converted in a subsequent step into the acid forms. This process is used to produce about 80 kilotons of EDDA each year. Impurities cognarate by this route include glycine and nitrolatriacetic acid. They arise from reactions of the ammonia copper duct. To describe EDDA and its various protonate forms, chemists distinguish between EDDA4, the conjugate base that is the ligand, and H4 EDDA, the precursor to that ligand. At very low pH, the fully protonate H6 EDDA2 plus form predominates whereas at very high pH or very basic condition, the fully deprotonated EDDA4 form is prevalent. In this article, the term EDDA is used to mean H4X EDDAX, whereas in its complexes EDDA4 stands for the tetradeprotonated ligand. In coordination chemistry, EDDA4 is a member of the aminopolycarboxylic acid family of ligands. EDDA4 usually binds to a metal cation through its two amines and four carboxylates. Many of the resulting coordination compounds adopt octahedral geometry. Although of little consequence for its applications, these octahedral complexes are chiral. The anion has been resolved into enantiomers. Many complexes of EDDA4 adopt more complex structures due to either the formation of an additional bond to water, i.e. seven coordinate complexes, or the displacement of one carboxylate arm by water. The Fe complex of EDDA is seven coordinate. Early work on the development of EDDA was undertaken by Gerald Schwarzenbach in the 1940s. EDDA forms especially strong complexes with MN, CU, FE, PB, and CO. Nomenclature Several features of EDDA's complexes are relevant to its applications. First, because of its high denticity, this ligand has a high affinity for metal cations. Coordination Chemistry Principles Written in this way, the equilibrium quotient shows that metal ions compete with protons for binding to EDDA. Because metal ions are extensively enveloped by EDDA, their catalytic properties are often suppressed. Finally, since complexes of EDDA4 are anionic, they tend to be highly soluble in water. For this reason, EDDA is able to dissolve deposits of metal oxides and carbonates. EDDA is in such widespread use that questions have been raised whether it is a persistent organic pollutant. While EDDA serves many positive functions in different industrial, pharmaceutical and other avenues, the longevity of EDDA can pose serious issues in the environment. The degradation of EDDA is slow. It mainly occurs abiotically in the presence of sunlight. The most important process for the elimination of EDDA from surface waters is direct photolysis at wavelengths below 400 nm. Depending on the light conditions, the photolysis half-lives of Fe EDDA in surface waters can range as low as 11.3 minutes up to more than 100 hours. Degradation of FEEDTA, but not EDDA itself, produces FE complexes of ED3A, ETA, 
and EDMA 92% of ETA and EDMA biodegrades in 20 hours while ED3A displays significantly higher resistance. Many environmentally abundant EDDA species are more persistent. In many industrial wastewater treatment plants, EDDA elimination can be achieved at about 80% using microorganisms. Resulting byproducts are ED3A and IDA suggesting that both the backbone and acetyl groups were attacked. Some microorganisms have even been discovered to form nitrates out of EDDA but degrade optimally at moderately alkaline conditions of pH 9.09.5. Environmental Fate Abiotic Degradation Biodegradation Alternatives Several bacterial strains isolated from sewage treatment plants efficiently degrade EDDA. Specific strains include Agrobacterium radiobacter ATCC 55002 and the sub-branches of proteobacteria like BNC1, BNC2 and strain DSM 9103. The three strains share similar properties of aerobic respiration and are classified as gram-negative bacteria. Unlike photolysis, the chelated species is not exclusive to Fe in order to be degraded. Rather, each strain uniquely consumes varying metal EDDA complexes through several enzymatic pathways. Agrobacterium radiobacter only degrades FEEDDA while BNC1 and DSM 9103 are not capable of degrading FEEDDA and are more suited for CAEDTA, BAEDTA, MGEDTA, and MNEDTA. EDDA complexes require dissociation before degradation. Interest in environmental safety has brought up concerns about biodegradability in aminopolycarboxylates such as EDDA. For example, under the 28-day NISO 7827 test Austrian paper and pulp industries must use chelating agents that have biodegradation levels over 70% or 80%. An increased interest in safety has led to the development and research of alternative chelating ligands which can still bind strongly to metal ions but also have a higher biodegradability and a lower content of nitrogen. Commercially used since 1998, iminotosuccinic acid biodegrades about 80% after only 7 days. IDS binds to calcium exceptionally well and forms stable compounds with other heavy metal ions. In addition to having a lower toxicity after chelation, the production of IDS is environment friendly. Specifically, IDS is degraded through the use of IDS epimerase and CN lyase found in Agrobacterium tumefaciens, which can be harvested on a large scale. Additionally, the reactions catalyzed by both enzymes do not require any cofactors and can thus be applied directly. Polyaspartic acid, like IDS binds to calcium and other heavy metal ions. It has a higher value of 7.2 milliequivalent slash G than does EDDA, which only has 6.0 milliequivalent slash G. While it has a higher theoretical capacity, in practical applications it exhibits low efficiency in lower ion concentration solutions. It has many practical applications including corrosion inhibitors, wastewater additives, and agricultural polymers. A polyaspartic acid-based laundry detergent was the first laundry detergent in the world to receive the EU flower ecolabel. As a structural isomer of EDDA, Ethylene diamine N, and disuccinic acid can exist as three isomers, slash end, but only the S, S isomer is readily biodegradable. EDS exhibits a surprisingly high rate biodegradation at 83% in 20 days. Biodegradation rates also varies the different metal ions chelated. 
For example, the complexes of lead and zinc with EDS have relatively the same stability but the lead complex is biodegrades more efficiently than the zinc complex. As of 2002, EDS has been commercially prominent in Europe on a large scale with an estimated demand rate increase of about 15% each year. Methylglycinide acetic acid is produced from glycin. MGDA has a high rate of biodegradation 68%, but unlike many other chelating agents can degrade without the assistance of adapted bacteria. Additionally, unlike EDS or IDS, MGDA can withstand higher temperatures while maintaining a high stability as well as the entire pH range. As a result, the chelating strength of MGDA is stronger than many commercial chelating agents. Aminopolycarboxylate-based chelates control metal ions in water-based systems. Iminotosuccinic acid the most sensitive method of detecting and measuring EDDA in biological samples is selected reaction monitoring capillary electrophoresis mass spectrometry, which has a detection limit of 7.3 ng ml in human plasma and a quantitation limit of 15 ng ml. This method works with sample volumes as small as 78 nL. EDDA has also been measured in non-alcoholic beverages using high-performance liquid chromatography at a level of 2.0 mg ml. Polyaspartic acid Ethylenediamine and endosuccinic acid Methylglycinide acidic acid L-glutamic acid and endiacetic acid, tetrasodium salt Methods of Detection and Analysis